All right, welcome to my Fortnite PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack skin review and gameplay. So you can get an awesome skin as well as a reactive back bling for free. Absolutely free. So let me show you how to redeem this. This is about the, I don't know, 8th or 9th, maybe even 10th Celebration Pack for PlayStation. So you come over here to the store, and then up top you're just going to type in Fortnite or any rendition of that just to make it show up. And then you should find it on this list. So I'm doing this on the PS4 right now, and I'll do the full review on the PS5 because it always glitches when I try to redeem. So here it is. You can see it says free right there. Came out today, June 8th. So it is a smaller pack, but it is an awesome pack. The skin and the back bling. Sometimes we don't even get a skin or a back bling. We just get a spray or an emoticon or a glider or a pickaxe or what have you. This time it's an actual skin. So you want to click download right here, and then it's going to give you a dumb error message saying, hey, you already have this. Watch. It does this every time, and I don't know why. It says, not available for purchase. Tell me more. And it says, you are not able to purchase this product for the following reasons. You already own. And then it tries to tell you, hey, you already have it. So then you're good to go. Once you do that, you're good. So then you have to restart your app entirely. Or if you're not even logged in yet, then you can just log in right now, and you should be good to go. So now let's do the full review and gameplay. I'm going to swap over to the PlayStation 5. So here we go. The Fixer skin. Doesn't he look incredible? Well, minus the butter robot on the back. What are you doing there? So here's the reactive back bling. Look at that. The reckoning. Their numbers up. Reactive. Counter tracks. Eliminations. Look at those blades. I think I actually have those pickaxes. So I wonder if they interact with that. Let's check this out. Isn't that an awesome skin? Beautiful. All right, so here he is in the locker. It says, when it needs to be perfect. And he's part of the Advanced Forces set. So again, check out that awesome back bling. That's going to be a really, really awesome looking kill counter. Probably the best one we have yet. I guess the only drawback would be that the pickaxes there are actually kind of big on the back bling. It's kind of obtrusive. So we'll have to see how that looks in game. But the color scheme is phenomenal. That awesome deep blue and then the jet black just looks great. Now I noticed his tattoos on his arms and I thought, hey, those look kind of familiar. So I was going through all my skins and sure enough, look what I found. This guy right here from season four is actually in the same set, Advanced Forces. And I thought those were the same tattoos, but it's not. So look at his arm. First of all, they're lighter. Let me just go back and forth. But they kind of look the same, but then it makes sense because they're in the same set, the Advanced Forces. You can see it's almost similar, but just a little different. So that's where I was remembering it from, from this guy. But they're in the same set. I had no idea. In fact, let me just type that in because there's more than just two in this set. Yeah, all these guys are in the Advanced Forces set. Sledgehammer, he's got some weird tattoos there too. And then the Squad Leader, he's got the nice tattoos. The Trailblazer, and then even Recon Ranger, all Advanced Forces. Pretty cool. Now the pickaxes, we got these in a prior celebration pack and these are called the Synaptic Hatchets. So these look really cool. They're the same ones on the back bling. So I'm very interested to see if they interact with it. Now the Advanced Forces Glider is this one. So this does not go with the character at all. So I'm gonna change this. We do have some PlayStation exclusive gliders. So let me show you all of them real quick. So I believe it's these four. We've got the Stratosphere which has a little bit of white on there, a little bit of light blue, and then that deep dark blue as well. So no black on that one. Then we've got Flappy from season five of chapter one. And this one's just goofy. I love the color scheme. It's that white, that deep blue, and then it's got some googly eyes on there, which I hate, absolutely hate that. Then we've got the blue streak right here, which is a mix of both colors of blue and some white and some black. So that's a decent fit. Or this one from season nine, the coaxial blue. So I don't know, they all really kind of fit the theme, but I think this one might be best. I'm gonna try that one. Now look at this, they teased this skin a while back. This is from season five, and it was just an emoticon, and it's called Last Round, but clearly it's the skin. So they love to tease things in advance. And then for a wrap, we've got the Cobalt Overdrive, which is animated, and of course, part of the same set. So we can now complete this combo, well, minus the glider. And then for a contrail, I'm using Artifact, which again is from a PlayStation Plus exclusive pack way back in Chapter 1, Season 5. Oh, it's nighttime already, so look at the Artifact contrail. I love this. Just one of the best contrails in the game. Why can't I hear anything? It's like I'm muted. Weird. Oh yeah, look at that glider. Not bad. 
So of course the aliens are attacking right where I'm doing my review. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Oh, it's so annoying because they show up on visualized audio as well. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get out of here. The first thing to note is that the color scheme is amazing. Are you kidding me? Hey! Let me go! Butthead! Jeez. Okay, we're going to have to clear out of here. All right, now that the coast is clear, let me spin this skin around for you again. Doesn't it look amazing? I love that dark, deep blue color. It's like an ocean blue, just tremendous. So there's nothing animated on him. There's nothing that glows. He's actually a quite stealthy black color as well. I really enjoy that. It almost looks a little bit purple in the deep, dark night. Now the pickaxes on the back bling do light up just a little bit, but that's just how they are. Now let's see if they interact with the pickaxes. Oh, they do, look at that. So if you were worried about the back bling being too obtrusive, those pickaxes come right off when you withdraw the actual pickaxes. I love it. And these are such a nice pickaxe. Look at that deep blue glow for the contrail. Again, these were from a former pack, but they have a nice splash effect there too. I don't think you can get these anymore. If I remember correctly, nor the wrap, but that's a sweet wrap too. I just love this. Definitely one of my favorite wraps in the game. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It matches this skin perfectly. This might be one of my new favorite skins in the game. So let's see how the back bling reacts. We obviously know it counts the elimination, but does it do anything cool? I don't know. So I'm going to try to hit fire, although with an AK, it's probably going to be tough. Here we go. Oh, that was hard to see. Let's try with the shotgun instead. Try to turn him a little bit. Nope, so it's nothing spectacular, but it looks pretty clean. It's got a little bit of animation to it, but there's no real pizzazz when you get an elimination. It's not like anything shoots out or sparks or anything like that. It just counts your elimination. So I kind of figured that, but I thought I'd test just to see if it did anything else. Well, I can't get my shots. There we go. I guess it does kind of light up there for a second. Let's try again. Close range. Here we go. He's kind of turned to the side. I wish he would just... There we go. So yeah, it does light up just a little bit. Probably the best PlayStation skin we've got so far. And we've got quite a few. All right, let's just make sure it can go up to 10. I'm sure it can. It could probably exceed 10. Yes. Cool. Not that many people get 10 eliminations these days, but it does. I wonder if it can go past 100. That would probably take me at least an hour to do because I don't have that many enemy grenades. So maybe I'll test that later. But for now, at least we know it goes past 10. Now real quick, I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you aim down sights because I was worried that the back plane was too large and obstructive. But as you can see, when you aim down sights or ADS, it almost completely disappears. You can barely see the pickaxes on the back blink, so that's good. So there you go, that's all there is to it. This is a great skin, like I said, one that I would probably run myself at least a lot of the time, if not most of the time. The color scheme's great, the back bling is great. If you have the pickaxes as well as the wrap, then this is gonna be a perfect combo for you. Even if you don't have the pickaxes and the wrap, it's still a great skin and back bling. To top it off, obviously the back bling is reactive, it does cut your kills, and I just can't get over how great the color scheme looks. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaberTime.